What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we're back with a brand new 2-in-1 WWE Elite Series review on the WWE Elite Series 98 Finn Balor and Big E figures. Very excited for both of these figures, the Finn Balor especially. To those unaware, Finn Balor is one of my favorite superstars. When he's in demon form, I mean, what could get better? I mean, look at this. Look at this man. So we have a Demon King Finn Balor, and then we do have a singles run Big E with this brand new version of the WWE Championship that we are going to, of course, get into. But I'm excited for this review. I think Elite 98 is a very good wave. I'm very, very interested to see where the ranking goes for this wave once we're completely wrapped up, and it honestly feels really good to be back in the review station after a long hiatus, I feel like. But here's Finn Balor in the front viewing window. If he was looking completely forward, this would be a beautiful mock figure. I love the image that they used here, like the PNG, you know, studio shot of him. You got Finn Balor down here. I like all the colors working together. Nice shot of Finn there on the back. You get a beautiful look at the Demon King there. I do believe this is the match where the turnbuckle John Cena interfered in the matchup and knocked him off the top rope and it cost him the championship. So stupid, man. My God. There's Finn Balor. And then for Big E, I really like this gear. Some of my favorite colors at work here. You got the white and the blue and the red mixed together. It looks really, really clean. White boots is looking good. You got Big E here. WWE logo, of course. Big E shot on the back and then you do have the champ right there on the back. You got the rest of the figures in the wave. And that pretty much wraps up our packaging, man. But let's go ahead and crack Finn Balor and Big E out of their packaging. Find out what these figures are about. See how they compare to their others and break everything down. Alright guys, so here's Finn Balor and Big E out of the packaging. Liking what I'm seeing here, two very quality figures. I, got, I guess I have to go on about the quality of Mattel's product, man. Really, the standard of action figures, at least in this space of retail action figures. You know, ones that you can go into Walmarts and Targets and purchase. Unbelievable what they are churning out and the quality. And you can get most of this stuff on clearance right now, thanks to the panorama. So, I mean, dude, it's kind of insane. But I'm excited to dive into it. Of course, we are going to dive into Big E and Big E's accessories and then we'll run it back and take a closer look at the demon king finn balor and his accessories all right guys so getting into biggie's accessories i think the main thing like well, of course we always get interchangeable hands here but this championship is new all right and it may be very similar maybe it's just painted differently with side plates but it looks different i think it looks more official like the championship as you guys can see but it's got the biggie side plates on there we saw something similar with the brock lesnar from the new ultimate edition very similar to this but here's the new compared to the old and i guess it's just the add of the gold really adds to it, I think, and makes it look more official. You know, adding the side plates, I think, is huge. I think it really adds to it. You know, I, I imagine every championship moving forward will probably have side plates. That really adds a bonus to your display, your collections, your pick feds, if you have a specific champion. But I like the new championship. It looks awesome. Outside of that, we got interchangeable hands. You have the mic holding hands that make the world go round. You have the fisted hands, which are always nice to have. Didn't expect to see these in here. And then we have the handshaking quad. Y. Leonard ricochet entrance handshaking style hands, which I swear to God, I say that in every review, it seems like. All right, guys, so getting into Big E himself, I like this head sculpt a lot. Do believe this is a new head sculpt that we're seeing here. Not a repeat head. I think the hair looks nice. Would have liked to seen a fade here on the sides. I mean, I don't know if it was completely shaved or he had a fade, but I think a fade would have not, you know, made it over the top. But the facial expression is nice. The likeness is totally there. Big E looks great here. Potentially his best head sculpt. And now that I'm seeing images, I don't think this had any fade on it. I just think he'd look handsome with it. You know what I'm saying? Now going down, we do have the blue, red, and white. Very clean gear. I love white gear. This is very great. I think the contrast is really nice. The double jointed arms and shoulders. I love the muscular shoulders they give us nowadays. I think it really makes the the deltoids look nice here. Nice torso. Looks all good and dandy. Got black wrist tape. I think white wrist tape probably would have, you know, kind of brought it all together. Or red, but you know what? It looks good. Got the lines going down right here. Nice beefy thighs. Same legs we always see. And then he does have the white boots with the Big E logos on there, which are a nice sculpt. I bet these boots would look nice on other Big E's, but it's a solid quality Big E. Did we need it? Who knows? Nonetheless, it's basically your same Big E. The shoulders are buttery smooth, though. The double-jointed arm is very, very nice. He can grab his face. Big E figures are really ridiculous to pose. If they add butterfly joints to every figure, I think his figures would take a step up, but look how aesthetically pleasing the figure is. It really does look nice here, so I can't complain about that, but as far as figure 
comparisons go. Here's our last four Big E Elites. You have the Elite 95, the Elite maybe 79 or 80, and then you have the Royal Rumble Elite there. I think this one is my favorite one, and you guys will also notice these three use the same head sculpt, which is crazy, but these actually have different shoulders. This is the Elite 95. They gave him more ripped up shoulders right here. You guys can see the deltoid muscles, and they gave him more ripped up arms. I think these are more accurate, but I still like the way this figure looks. I like the deltoids right here. You know, you got kind of a leaner Big E. I don't know if he was a little bit leaner during this time or not. These are around the same time, though, so I don't know what's going on there, but I think I do like the Elite 98 Big E over the Elite 95, but it is cool to see so many Big E's, but are they needed? I, I you, know, I, you know, who am I? Who am I to say if they're needed or not? All right, guys, so for Finn Balor's accessories, not the most exciting. We do have this new headdress, which is like, it's basically the Ultimate Edition headdress, but it does have the gray going down the side here. You get some red and white as well. Pretty sure this is the Ultimate Edition headdress, except it does have the added, like, Asuka-style spikes or Rey Mysterio entrance grade style spikes here on the helmet or the headdress piece. Nothing over the top, but, uh, you know what is specific. Really wish they would have given him that massive kendo stick thing that he was using in that match, but I don't really give that much of a damn. Outside of that, we get the same hands we saw with the Ultimate Edition, but they did include the hand tattoo, the finger tape, and it does include the nail polish, which is a nice touch. He did have nail polish, so I think that's really awesome. I like the sculpts in there. These are great hands. And outside of that, he does have mic holding hands with the same exact tattoo, hand tape, finger tape, and the nail polish. So I think they did a great job on that. Nice details on the figure. Really sets it off. Alright guys, so getting into Finn Balor. Same head sculpt we saw on what? The Elite 70 Finn Balor? Like the Jack the Ripper? And then we saw the same head sculpt on the Ultimate Edition. It was just repainted, I do believe. We will get into the comparisons, but I think we're over that head sculpt. You know what I mean? I think it's been long enough to get rid of that head sculpt. I mean, you're talking 28 series ago, like 13, 12 Ultimate Edition series ago. I'm, you know, I, I like the head sculpt. I think it's quality. I think it looks really good when it's painted right here, especially with the fade and the black over the fat. Like, it looks really good for the Demon King. I just, you know, I'd like to see a new head sculpt here. Beard looks good. Ugh. Face paint looks good. You know, I'm not gonna doubt any of that. Not my favorite demon paint. You know, you kind of got like the tongue going across the shoulder. You got the teeth and the red and stuff, but you have a lot of detail going on right here. Some of the demon on the trunks. I mean, you got a lot of great paint detail. Balor on the back. Again, the red and the white and the black. Bicep bands that are adjustable like the Ultimate Warrior, but they're a lot more flaily. They don't stay in place like Ultimate Warriors. They're pretty loose, which I guess isn't the biggest deal. It doesn't really, you know, bother me in any way, but you know that it's worth mentioning. You do have your double jointed arms on here. The red bands that he started wearing not too, too long ago. A very nice detail that they included here is they actually put all of his tattoos on his forearm, even though you have this, the red bands covering, or the red tape covering. So you can see the dinosaur, the infinity. He's got like a galaxy style tattoo. I think he's got a cactus on there. He does run over a little bit, but that was a tattoo, that was a detail that I was excited to see if they did, and they actually included it, so hats off to Mattel for including that, because they easily could have just been like, oh, it's covered by the red tape, not a big deal. So being a big Finn Balor fan, this is, this is nice to see. I like to see that. You got Demon King, all hail on the butt right there. Very nice font. Got the legs, summon the demon, all hail the Demon King on this side, and then this is kind of weird how they have the tassels, like, attached to the knee pad there. You would think it'd be just like Ultimate Warrior, but it's not. You know, it's actually attached there, so I guess you could either cut it, or, I don't know, you know, uh, not my favorite design there, but it's not the biggest deal. And then I think lower legs being in black would have helped, but then you have the solid black kick pads. Another gripe I have is the figure kind of feels short to me. I don't know what it is, but it just feels short. I don't know, like, legs or whatever compared to, like, the top talent spin battlers and things we've seen. It just feels short. I don't know, but as far as figure comparisons are concerned, but outside of the AJ Styles Finn Balor TLC Battle Damage 2-Pack Elite Finn Balor Demon King, this is every Demon Finn Balor Elite we have seen so far from Mattel. You also have the Ultimate Edition in here, and you know, I think they've, if you look at it, is it not shorter than all the rest? Like, what's up with that? I really can't tell. I think they used Daniel, they used Daniel Bryan thigh! I just noticed it. What the hell? It's not even the thighs. It's the full lower legs. That's what they did. They used smaller thighs. Why? Ugh. Unbelievable. Look at this. Now he's too short compared to all the rest of them. Why would you do that? The formula was perfect. I knew there was something off. Damn. Regardless, ugh. I'm glad they used the right torso. Why would they use Daniel Bryan crotch thighs and bottom? 
have they released a double jointed arm figure with this torso on this crotch piece i'm trying to think son of a bitch that really upsets me man i mean i guess at the end of the day it's not a big thing but i knew i noticed it i knew something was up oh my god oh why i mean it is badass to see all these up next to each other i'd rat i don't know i don't know what's worse would i rather have the daniel bryan torso with the finn balor legs or the finn balor torso with the daniel bryan legs like they said you know what you couldn't give him the torso so let's give him the legs why would you do that finn balor's quads are actually quite ripped up too they just don't care about giving this man accurate proportions jesus christ in heaven above anyways man that is pretty much going to wrap up this two-in-one wwe elite series 98 review on elite series 98 biggie and demon king finn balor really bummed out about the formula of finn balor i don't know why they did that you know i i guess i like this figure a lot i'm glad to have another demon king with double jointed arms but the legs that really does bother me man i don't want him to look super tiny and short up next to everybody else and they use the same head sculpt from way long ago you know it's it's a repeated head sculpt we've seen but my god in heaven man i don't know i mean is it the biggest deal in the world no but it's still worth mentioning and uh it does bother me can't say it doesn't bother me but the biggie figure's solid you know if the daniel bryan thighs don't bother you i guess it's not a deal breaker it's not a deal breaker for me but it does it does bother me you know it's got to go on the cons list it is going to bring down the overall figure when we get into the ranking of elite 98 but oh man i don't know why they they did that it's such a random thing to do when you had the you have the pieces already I, I don't know somebody please explain it to me explain it i don't randomly say explain it like that that actually has a backstory to it and only me and my friends get it but i'm just gonna drop the reference reference in there just because you know that's just who i am but that's gonna wrap up the review i had a lot of fun with the review always do that rhymed unintentional yeah man i'm i'm getting out of here man i'm gonna go eat some breakfast thank you guys so very much for watching hope you guys did enjoy leave me your thoughts on these figures down below does the formula bother you i think the biggie figure is damn near perfect and i'm gonna say it i think that's the best biggie today but i'm getting out of here man thank you for watching subscribe to the channel leave me your thoughts on the figures and i'll see you guys next time have a blessed one